Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good, I'm a Solutions Architect here at ClickTech. Uh, in a previous video, we uh, did hiding and showing sheet objects by using variables, such as we have right here. Uh, we're going to extend that today, and we're going to look at how, how we can hide and show sheets uh, based on which tab is selected. So if you go into the, the properties of a sheet, you'll notice that there is a show sheet um, window here. We can have an always, or we can have a conditional. We're going to leverage that. First thing we're going to do is go into our settings, variable overview, and add a new variable, and we'll call it tab show. Click OK on that, and click OK. We can then go, uh, we can see here that we have tab 1, and then we have these sub-tabs, uh, 1A, 1B, and 2, and 2A, 2B, and 2C. So what we want to have happen is when we select on tab 1, we'll see um, A and B, but we won't see any of the other sub-tabs. And then when we select on 2, we'll see um, A, B, and C for 2, but we won't see um, A and B for 1. So how would we do that? So we're going to go over to tab uh, 1A, and we're going to go Properties, and make it a conditional show. V tab show is equal to tab 1. We'll put that on our clipboard. And then we're going to go over to 1B, go Properties, and V tab show is equal to tab 1. And for the, ta for the sub tabs for 2, it'll be the same thing, but it'll be when tab show is equal to tab 2. You'll notice as I'm doing this, the tabs are disappearing because currently we do not have a variable, uh, we don't have a value defined for our variable. So that looks pretty good. We then can add actions to our tabs. So when the, when the sheets are selected, they, um, th they will change the variable. So we'll go to tab 1. Um, and you can see here that I had already set this up in advance, and I have an action assigned to this sheet. So that goes in the, in the triggers, and on sheet activate, I set up vtab show to equal to tab 1. So as soon as I selected that, we change the variable to tab, the variable value to tab 1, and that makes it show. When I go on to tab 2, nothing happens. So I'll show you how I set that up. So I go properties, on activate sheet, we're going to add external set variable, it's going to be vtab show to equal to tab 2. So as soon as I select this sheet, I'm going to automatically change that variable. So we'll just go back over to main, and then I select. And you see how um, the, the sub-tabs for tab 1 disappear, and the tabs for tab 2 appear. This is why I like to make a global variable that shows and hides all the tabs and just change the value um, versus having a binary variable that's you know a 1 or a 0 to indicate whether the tab should appear. This way, I don't have to be changing all these different variables around and have a different variable for each tab. I can move back and forth between 1 and 2, and it works exactly as expected. When I go back to the main, though, uh, it, it doesn't work. You can see that I still have the sub-tabs for tab 2 showing. And then if I select on tab 1 and go back to main, I still have the sub-tabs for tab 1. So we need to add an action here as well. So we'll add a sheet action here, and we'll set the variable v tab show equal to none. So that will indicate to show no sub-tabs. Click OK on that. And now as I move around, you can see that stays and disappears, and these ones stay. And if I go back to main, I'm back the way I, I want it with just tab 1 and 2 showing. So that concludes our quick tips and tricks today. Uh, please do uh, use community. There's lots of good information on there. Uh, we also have our partners and expert services who can help you with more advanced stuff. Have a great day.